I'm Jo Atkins and I run dog training for Essex and Suffolk and we are a pet dog training centre working with pets dogs from puppy right through to senior age uh, with your typical socialisation and obedience classes but we also teach lots of other classes um, including tricks, we do fitness training, we do hiwetsu music, tri ball, waggit games, agility, hoopers, um, basically if, if it's something that we think is going to be fun for the dogs then we learn how to do it and we offer it. So what we're going to teach you today is going to be a peekaboo trick which is a really fun one for dogs of any age basically. Um, there's no impact involved, there's no really really sharp turns so it's a really nice one for even really young puppies to do, adult dogs and your senior dogs as well. I'm going to of course be using my fill well treats. We've got uh, the grain free chicken today because uh, we're out of our favourite, aren't we, which is the liver. Um, and I love working with these, they are so nice and easy to use. They're small to start with, but I've got tiny dogs. <laughs> so I'm going to break them up even smaller, which is so easy to do. So, what we're going to do then, is I'm going to show you what a peekaboo looks like at the end, as a finished item. And then we are going to have a look with Merlin and Ripley to see how we teach it, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is just move Ripley slightly out of the way, and so Merlin's gonna show you what a peekaboo is. Merlin, you peekaboo? And that is a peekaboo, okay? It's really nice and simple, it's nice and fun, dogs like doing it, and it's just a nice way of getting your dog's focus on you. Peekaboo. There you go. It's a nice safety place, so it's really good for dogs that may be a little bit nervous or lack confidence when they're out and about, or if you have someone visiting you, you can just ask your dog to come into the middle or go peekaboo. Rippers, can you peekaboo? What a good girl. And they've, in, they've got a nice safe space to be in, all right? It's a really handy place to be for things like photos, so if you want a picture with your dog, you have them there, nice and central, um, and it's something that you can take anywhere because you don't need any equipment. So it's a really, really lovely trick to work with. So what you're gonna need is your treats. So uh, it's a nice, nice handful of fill well treats broken up in your hand there. And all we're gonna do is start your dog in front of you, like so, and you're gonna choose which direction to send your dog round. I send mine round to the right majority of the time, but it's whatever works for you. So I'm just gonna move Ripley out of the way. So Merlin's going to go around to my right, so my treat is in my right hand <laughs> and he's going to come around the back like so. I'm going to swap the treat into my other, oh hang on, into my other hand and then lure him forward and give him that treat. He hasn't got to do anything once he's there, but at the moment we just want to teach him how to get into that position. So good boy, so I'm going to bring him round, swap the treat again, good boy, what a good boy. And remember as well as treating, it's also great to give your dogs a bit of verbal praise, tell them their brilliant smile, lots of hands-on fussing if they like to be handled, and make it a really nice treat reward at the end. So then, once your dog is happy to go through your legs, because at first it might be a bit strange for them, then we can start adding a word to this. So something like peekaboo, which is my word. A lot of people use middle or centre um, or between, okay? Um, so whatever works for you, something you're going to remember and that feels right for this particular type of trick, okay? And all you're going to do, let's move Merlin, go find it now, Ripley, is say it as they go into position, so Ripley peekaboo, good girl, that's good, that's a clever girl, are you ready? And peekaboo, yay, what a good girl! And so then your dog is hearing whatever keyword you've chosen, as they're moving into position, and this helps them to learn what it's called. So once they know what it's called, it means it's, it's easier for us to not need to use so many hand signals. Although hand signals, of course, are always fine, but sometimes it can be handy to not need them. So, once you can do that a few times with your peekaboo cue, good girl, we can then try less of a hand signal, and Merlin peekaboo, good boy. So there I've just shown him a little bit behind, and then guided him forward once he gets there, peekaboo. Good boy. That's a very clever boy. And so we can then just make it slightly less hand cue more and more each time. Good girl, that's nice. Man out the way, baby. And Ripley, peekaboo. Yay, what a good girl. And then once we've done that, so when you've had a few little practices, so you could do a few of those in a session and do that over a couple of days, 
you could then see if your dog has um, a verbal understanding. So there's no rush to get to this stage, but it's nice to see where your dog is getting at. And we can then try peekaboo. There's a good boy, aren't you clever? And then you can try it, obviously, if you've got more than one dog, we're going to do it with Ripley as well. And Ripley peekaboo. Good. What a clever girl you are. And so we can build it up from there. Okay. So take it very slowly. Start off by showing your dogs, luring them, using your treats. Um, whatever one your dog's favorite flavor is, is great. So whether it's the training treats or it's one of the, the meaty bars broken down. Oh, hello, and has got a whole one for free. Um, so then make sure your feet are just enough apart for your dog's shoulder width. So it doesn't matter if you're quite short, I'm five foot, um, and, and you can do this with any size dog pretty much, but you just need to make sure that your feet are your dog's shoulder width apart. You don't have to be like this unless you want to be, um, but you need to be enough room that your dogs can fit through like that. Okay, so Ripley, peekaboo as well. Yay! And that is our peekaboo. Um, I, we always love to see how dogs are getting on, so please do, if you try this at home with your dogs, Merlin Bend, good. Um, do take a video, take a picture of your dogs in position, and uh, send them in to the Phil Wells page. And if you want to tag me as well, so I can have a look or give you some feedback if you get stuck, then you can tag me at Dog Training for Essex and Suffolk, and we are on Facebook under that name. Uh, but also you could tag me on Twitter under Cass and Tay, or on Instagram, which is also under um, Cass and Tay as well. So any of those, and I'll be more than happy to give you some feedback or some help if you need it. And of course, once we've got it and we've got these lovely peekaboos, I can be there to give you loads of celebrations as well. So, well done, get started with that and away you go.